yesterday, December 4th, the Trevor Jacob case came to a conclusion. Trevor Jacob pled guilty to one count of destruction and concealment with the intent to obstruct a federal investigation and was sentenced to six months in federal prison. This case started out in late 2021. I made a video here on my YouTube channel in early 2022, and now late 2023, it's finally come to a conclusion. I wanna share that conclusion with you guys and give you my thoughts on the situation. But if you happen to have no idea what I'm talking about, here is a little summary to get you up to speed. So on December 24th, 2021, Trevor Jacob posted a video on YouTube of an alleged engine failure over unlandable terrain. In the beginning of the video, he says his plan is to spread some ashes of a friend of his. However, first he has to fly over a mountain range in his 1940 Taylor craft. He claims that he lost a different friend due to an engine failure over mountainous terrain and as such, he always flies with a parachute. Fast forward to the engine failure over the mountains, he jumps out of the plane, there's no one else on board, the plane crashes into the mountains, with several GoPros on board which happen to capture everything. Trevor free falls for a long time, finally pulls his parachute, watches the airplane crash below, he lands his parachute in a bunch of bushes, hikes to the aircraft, and then documents his journey out of the mountains where he's rescued by some farmers. How you doing? Oh my gosh. I had an engine out in the, in the mountains and uh, there was nowhere to land. I always fly with a parachute and I'm like, I can either jump right now or, or take the chance of landing this thing. And I'm out, I'm out. So late 2021, Trevor uploads this video of him jumping out of his plane, avoiding catastrophe. And quickly all the internet detectives jumped on the case and started breaking apart how fishy the entire thing was. In the video I uploaded early 2022, I discussed some of those things. Just the fact that no one, no pilot just flies around with a skydiving rig. They make actual different rigs for that. I don't think any pilot would choose to jump out at an engine failure. And probably the most fishy thing is if you slow mo the footage, you could see fire extinguishers strapped to Trevor's legs, probably to put out a forest fire if it had happened. Over the next few years, the FAA investigated, the legal system did its thing, and now we're here. We're gonna go fly some paramotors and I wanna talk to you guys about the conclusion and what I think about it. I'm flying the Mav Max and I'm bringing the normal Maverick for my buddy Matt to fly. He hasn't flown in a bit, it's really cold, so we'll see how he does tonight. It is pretty cold today, so I'm busting out the balaclava, the thick, thick gloves, and the maximum puffer jacket. I'm also flying the Viper XC 16 meter because I just want something chill that I can fly hands off uh, when I'm all bundled up in a spacesuit. It's a little more challenging to fly a small Solom glider, so I'm taking the chill glider. And now I'm just waiting for Matt to get here so we can all take off. All right, Manda's taking way too long to get here, so I'm gonna go fly around super close until he gets here, and then I'll come back. Pretty solid spot landing. Matt, the air is trash, don't fly. What? The air is trash. Oh, really? It's over. Oh, no. Did you hear Trevor Jacob got six months in federal prison? Yeah. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Uh, just don't be stupid. <laughs> you feel like jumping under your paramotor today? What a gloomy, cold winter New Jersey day. So let's talk about Trevor Jacob. Uh, first thoughts when I saw these articles coming out. Full disclosure, I didn't follow the case like from the very beginning throughout the entire thing. I've just seen the conclusion. It's my impression that somewhere along the line of this case, the charge of jumping out of an airplane uh, without a pilot or anyone else on board, the endangerment, that whole factor, I guess was kind of dismissed. And what he ended up with was just the single charge of removing the evidence and the wreckage of the plane. Which, by the way, 
that's what he pled guilty to. And apparently he went in with a friend that had a helicopter, tied up the plane, took the wreckage back to the airport, chopped it up, and put it in dumpsters as if it was like a dead corpse. Like really f***ing weird. On some level, does that set a precedent uh, for someone that's going to do a stunt like that in the future? Not that I'm concerned that someone would be that dumb again to do something like that. Uh, but it is interesting that, you know, if someone were to choose to do it, could they argue that, hey, Trevor got away with it, why can't I? Now, Trevor uploaded a video to his YouTube channel, like, the day after uh, the final charges were made. And that video was really interesting. One of the first things he talks about is how he got his pilot's license back. And that was surprising to me. Um, I guess from my understanding, when the FAA takes away your license in this instance, it wasn't like a terminal ban. It was, we're gonna take it away, but you can go through the steps to get your license again if you so choose, which I guess is what he did. He talks about doing a check ride and having someone sign off for him. He's still skydiving and not just solo skydiving, but also tandem skydiving, which is very interesting. That I guess the USPA that kind of governs skydiving didn't pull his license. Um, he's still not only allowed to jump solo, but he's allowed to take people and get paid for it, which is kind of crazy. Let's fly through this smoke and see what happens. It smells like a uh, wood fire. Nothing happened to the glider. That's it. It just smelled funny. So the tone of the video is kind of weird in my opinion. Throughout the whole video, he's kind of talking in the context of that he's admitted guilt, that he didn't actually jump out of the plane for his own safety, that it was a planned stunt, but he never actually comes out and says it verbatim until the very end. The way he finally admitted it was kind of weird too. He claims that it was just a bucket list item, that he always wanted to jump out of a plane and see it crash, and he just decided to film it and then decided he would share it with the internet uh, after the fact. All of that is really freaking weird to me because it all seems so premeditated. Anyways, he's just all nonchalant about it and talks about how uh, it was really a time to become a man and he learned so much from this experience. When he did it, he was like 28 years old and I'm like, dude, I'm 28 now and I would never think I could pull off something that wild. So that's my thoughts on Trevor Jacob. Uh, please comment down below if you agree with my opinions. Do you think his punishment should have been more harsh? Before we go, I wanna share this with you guys. Uh, recently, I've been talking about how I'm doing more vlog style videos, and there's a lot of really good feedback on that, which I appreciate. However, this is the problem. Today, I uploaded what I love and hate after one year. YouTube ranks your videos uh, by popularity in the last 10 uploads, and it's sitting at number 10, which is not a good thing, it's not a good feeling. That's the problem with the vlogs. Um, although there's a lot of people that are watching right now that really love them, they just don't get views, which sucks. But at this point, um, I'm enjoying making them. You guys are enjoying watching them. I'm gonna be traveling out west pretty soon. So I'll, uh, the vlogs just fit that style better. I do have some other big concepts that I wanna do. I wanna get that new four stroke paramotor and do some testing with it. I want an electric paramotor and do some testing in a video series with that. But for now, we're gonna stick it out with the vlogs. So again, I ask for your support. Drop a like, drop a comment. My cat's going wild in the background. I'm gonna edit this video, get it online. I hope you guys enjoyed. Till the next one, have fun, fly safe, peace. Zip.